What is going on guys? Rodney here with Crypto Bros. Welcome to today's video. Today we're talking about an interesting, interesting, interesting ICO, something that I've never seen before. Hold on for 15 or 20 seconds before you close the video or give me a thumbs down and just hear me out and I think you may agree with me on this. So today we're talking about Playchip. Now Playchip is going to be the centralized token for a bunch of different gambling and fantasy sports mobile gaming platforms that are already in place. The company is called PlayUp Limited. They have a 500,000 user base already. They have all the infrastructure in place. They are um, they have six different gambling platforms and are generating or have generated 430 million dollars in just 2018 alone. So this ICO is not about like building a platform, building apps, building any type of in infrastructure. This company already has all those things in place. It is Australian based and there's quite a bit of hype behind it, specifically for the fact that the Australian Prime Minister has also invested kind of in Play Up Limited and this kind of overarching goal here. He wants to see it succeed. So again, they're offering this token to be spread across all their different um, applications as a common as a common currency just to solve some of the problems that blockchain can solve. So anyway, I hope I made that clear. Um, we'll jump into all that in just a second. I have two quick things to uh, to say. One, thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to the channel. Ever so appreciative to that. And then two, because this is an ICO review, I'm going to be giving away $50 in Ethereum. All you have to do to enter is leave your Ethereum address in a comment section below. Make sure you like the video and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I'm going to let this run for a few days so we can get a good amount of people in on this to check this out. And then we will pick a winner sometime next week. Um, I am traveling for work, so I'm not exactly sure when it'll be, but you can enter in there. Good luck to all you guys. Let's talk about this project. So anyway, the first thing we'll see here is again 500,000 users, six different betting gambling platforms spread across 70 countries, 430 million dollars in turnover. Again, guys, I just want to stress the fact that they are imp like it's weird because it is technically an ICO, but what they're doing is they're giving people a chance to just buy their token that already operate across this platform. You know, we see a lot of people love sports betting as it is. I mean, this is a 300 trillion dollar industry especially kind of in this mobile sector so again just to touch on you know where they're coming from this is not some new thing play up limited was established in 2014 they are uh, um, Australian based in 2015 they got all the licenses and stuff they needed to become a fully licensed sports betting provider 2016 they broke up and did made it into 70 different countries in 2017 though they kind of came across this blockchain solution, some of the problems that, that it can solve in terms of cost, you know, for like payouts for people winning, in terms of speed, in terms of some of the regulation aspects that some of these different countries have in terms of payouts. Like, you know, some countries weren't able to kind of um, or allow based on regulation to receive their payouts if they want or they did something on the platform. And here we are in 2018. They are kind of putting their tokens up for sale. It's weird though, because all, like I said, all the infrastructure is already in place. People are just gonna be able to go on there, buy their token and implement it across the platform. And they're able, and they're enabling you to buy in with USD, the um, Australian currency, Bitcoin and Ethereum to kind of get your play chips and incorporate them into their current ecosystem. Now this part right here is super important to understand because these are all their different betting platforms. We'll actually look at this again when we go into their um, their pitch deck. So again, they've acquired Draft Stars. They are, and then also Betting Club. They is one of theirs. Madbookie.com, Top Beta, uh, Classic Bet, and then obviously Play Up, which is also an application. Here's their their website over here. This is you know free daily fantasy sports, win real money on there, kind of like a contest thing. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with some of the uh, things on like ESPN or, or something like that where you can do it for free and still win money. So they have that already in place. And and again, guys, very large user base. As we get into this, though, it gets very interesting when we see kind of who signed on, not only with the team, but some of their um, ambassadors. This guy right here is kind of who does this video. Highly recommend watching this just to kind of tie everything together. But this is Brett Lee, um, global sports icon. One thing that they will be implementing with their platform is its own kind of internal exchange 
as well as a wallet. So everything is here in mobile on there. So not only are you placing your bets, you can actually inter um, or operate on there with your wallets, with your private keys, um, all in this, this uh, same platform. So it says buy and sell instantly with the Play Wallet via Play Exchange. Instant KYC verification between the platforms, low cost transactions for bigger price pools and better odds, real time balance and withdrawal information, including fiat value. And you also retain full ownership of your private keys. So, again, guys, it's this full encompassing ecosystem of a betting platform, wallets, exchanges, to, and, and etc. Um, once the actual token launches, you'll be able to find it on LA Token and hit BTC. We'll talk about that in just a second. But um, what I do want to flip over and check out, though, is actually their um, their team here. There's some pretty impressive guys in the space. Sorry, I went to my, my good old highlighted version. But what you'll see, a lot of these guys are not only involved in blockchain, not only involved in some type of sports betting, gambling applications. They've also held high positions on boards. Like this guy right here, um, you know, board member of Top Beta, Social Figure, New Era Group, uh, Next Group, Honeywell. You know, this guy right here is into the uh, gaming, auction, social monitoring, blockchain, biotech. Um, and we just kind of see this reoccurring thing. You know, tech founder and sales marketing executive whose previous startup, MConnect, gen generated over $650 million on mobile billings. All kinds of stuff. One advisor that I do want to point out um, is Steph Savannah. Um, and it says, perhaps one of the world's most experienced operators in emerging field of blockchain Dr. Steph has over 57 UK patent applications during his brief 18-month uh, tenure with Enchain. Steph's background includes working in numerous fields, including software development, health, and finance. So a lot of stuff. This guy right here, big player in terms of uh, fantasy sports. This is Jesse, one of the biggest players in fantasy sports history. Jesse is the founder and former CEO of Major League Fantasy, one of the biggest um, fantasy platforms in the USA. Jesse continues to be involved with that space as well as esports platforms. PlayUp hopes to expand that as well. So we can just kind of see here a bunch of good people in the space and then also their ambassadors, cricket legend, AFL legend, rugby legend, all these guys kind of tie in, very iconic people kind of in this space. As we get over to their pitch deck though, this is where I think things get really interesting. Um, the two things that I really wanted to, well, there's more than two. Um, the couple things that I really wanted to touch on here is again that you know play global play up global has these six betting platforms already that are operating so this token is going to be universal across all these platforms and tied together so not only is there a utility base to the token it will also be on um, different exchanges and see if I can find that real quick um, not here must be down below so anyway um, but what you'll see you know, this has everything to, or is all tied in, licensed for Premier League, NFL, NBA, NHA, MLB, etc. I'm sure you guys are already aware of that. But again, um, I think this part is just the super important part, just because it, it will be operating across so many different platforms, not only as utility, but you'll also be able to trade it on exchanges. This part just gets into the wallet, which we've already covered. And currently, here are some statistics on their application. So, um, general users, uh, average time per session, 11 minutes. Again, 500,000 total users projected 2 million by the end of 2018. Here's where they, in terms of their trajectory of a uh, company of users, here's where they have acquired uh, uh, draft stars. Here's another one where they've acquired it. So their user base continues to grow. And what they're going to be doing, and maybe this is the most interesting part about, here's we go, hit BTC LA, uh, LA token. The most interesting part about this actual ICO in general is they are using the majority of their funds for marketing. And that means they're going to be um, entering in partnerships with uh, specific teams. They've actually already done that and, and with one uh, rugby team. We're going to check it out. It's actually Russell Crowe's rugby team. Super, super cool. We'll check that out in just a second. But they're using the majority of the money raised in the ICO for all their marketing stuff. As we've seen, you know, this platform is already built. They're working on growing the brand. And, and most people who know anything about marketing and advertisement, like that's how people get the hype behind the project. That's how they get influencers. That's how they get people working within their platform is by marketing. So they're gonna be doing it at different sporting events, by sponsoring teams, by pushing out different um, 
like social media uh, advertisements, digital ad, all this different stuff to kind of grow this brand and this token across all these different gambling platforms. And I think that's really cool because they're not spending the next two or three years trying to build up a platform. They already have a user base. Now they're focused on retaining those people, giving them a good experience, and then growing their footprint within there. So anyway, very cool piece here. We can go through their, their roadmap. They've done a lot of um, interesting things, including the release of their Play Wallet in November, um, Play Up Bet launch in October, their uh, Play Exchange and launches in September. So they have a bunch of things going. I believe it's August 23rd is when they're going to hit hit BTC and LA token. So if you guys wanted to pick some up, if you can't get in on the ICO because you're US based or whatever, that is very um, possible. And then, you know, here's just a couple other things. They're talking about their management team and their advisors, but it says, um, you know, since this is an actual company, they have 38 full-time talented development, developed and operational staff located in Sydney, Melbourne, New York, London, and Hong Kong. So again, full operating company, and they worked with uh, companies that we may recognize, SAP, Under Armour, Draft Stars, Top Beta, et cetera. So again, guys, they've got stuff going for them. And I just like the fact that they are not, um, they're not building something. They already have it in place. They're just implementing the token piece. And as we see here um, through a couple articles that have come out, these are all Austra Australian based um, articles, but it says play up bets on cryptocurrency future plus a uh, ASX and NASDAQ listing. If you don't know what ASX is, it is the Australian Securities Exchange, you know, some type of stock exchange that they have over there. So they're going to be working on listing their company on that and NASDAQ. And then as we get into this article, um, this is where it talks about kind of their um, how they're working with the prime minister and, and their son on this and the investment that he made. So it says, um, Malcolm Trumbull, who is the prime minister, um, I actually said that wrong, it's uh, Trumbull, um, has previously invested $1 million in play up shares along with other high profile investors, including uh, Rich Listers, David. Uh, Paradise, Alan Myers, I don't want to butcher anyone's name, so I'm not going to read any more of that, but these guys have already invested big money into this platform as it is, and it continues to grow. So in terms of like a company standpoint, like they have the backing and all the pieces in place to do really well. Here's another article also talking about, um, you know, kind of the resurrection and how they're doing it. Some of the things they're implementing, some of the stuff that they have going on with fan fantasy sports in general. And then here's their last one. Here's kind of one of the teams that they, um, they're sponsoring. You can obviously see their logo here. But it says PlayUp uh, joins Rabbitohs in the um, NRL first. So this is the actual uh, rugby league team. So if we actually Google it, who owns this? None other than, than Russell Crowe. And I hope I'm saying that right. I'm obviously not a big uh, sports guy. So if I'm pronouncing your favorite team wrong, I do apologize. But uh, there's just a lot of pieces in place for this to do very well. And what we've seen in terms of any type of gambling platform, whether it's blockchain based or not, fairly does, or always does very well, especially kind of in this gaming, mobile gaming, mobile gambling platform, very, very cool stuff. So anyway, guys, um, I was gonna talk about this ESPN article here that they've they've listed. Ah, we'll just quickly do it and then we'll wrap this video up. But it says, um, the court ruled six to three. Basically, they're just saying that the, you know, for United States-based people, that it was once um, a federal law that pro prohibited gambling. Now they're bringing it down where states will have the final say in how how the gambling situation works in each and single state. But anyway, last but not least, here's just a list of some of the current gaming casino uh, platforms on there. We can look at some of these market caps and all of them. You know, all the top ones here within that, like, I don't know, top 200 coins are all right around $50 million market caps, uh, all the way up to 128. So you can kind of make some type of speculation after this token debuts and after there is some further adoption here. You know, they're offering it right now for, I think, a penny plus a bonus. So, you know, if we hit a couple of these five, six, 10 cent marks for the actual value of the token, there's actually some... Um, ROI here, some profits to be made. So anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do it. I'd love to have you in there, but I'm ever so thankful for all of you guys. That's my opinion on PlayUp Chip. Again, I'm not very well endowed in this whole online space, but I just love the fact that they already have this in place and they're using 
blockchain to kind of further their development here with just solving problems with the speed, efficiency, payouts, all that type of stuff. So anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. I will be back again with another cryptocurrency video tomorrow. See ya.